Hi, friend. Hi. Would you like to do an interview with the Hollywood yeah. Times? Yes, let's do it. Okay, awesome. I'm going to make you up. We'll just turn you this way. Okay. Very cool. And I'll squeeze in here. Awesome. All right, well, I'm the Hollywood Bubbler reporting for the Hollywood Times. Oh, cool. And who did I have Times. the pleasure to uh, speak with this evening? I'm Gregory Martin. I'm the creator, director, showrunner of the Bay. I figured. You, yeah, you look familiar. Very uh, nice. Uh, How do you feel about all these nominations and 23 wins already? I'm just very honored and grateful for the for to be in the position that we're in. It takes an army, and I have the best casting crew in the business. I love that. I love that. So, what do you do to bring yourself joy when you're not busy creating this amazing show? I think show? creating is joy. Creating okay. creating the show is joy, and bringing some beautiful people together, and, and you know, I get to work with some great folks. Um, so, of course, it makes me very happy. I love that. Is there anything that you'd like to share with us about season? Nine? Season nine. Season nine is my favorite season so oh. far. I mean, we've, I mean, we, I haven't, we haven't edited it yet, but as far as the experience of of, uh, of shooting it, it was just, it was a lot of work. I'm exhausted. I haven't slept in a month. Oh my! But um, but I'm, uh, I think, I think we we have something really, really, really great. So. All right. Well, you heard it here first. So uh, hold on to your hats, kids, and tune in to the bay. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so, so much. much. Thank you. Thanks. Hi, Fred. Hi, Fred. Would you like to do a live interview on my Instagram? Oh, yeah, the sure. Hollywood Times? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, awesome. Can I mic you? Yeah, can I mic you? Yeah, sure. You can. What's the medal for? Uh, 50 years of service in the daytime community. Okay, yeah. yes. Yeah, I got this. I just got this award. I'm going to get it, actually. Well, I got it. I, I got love it. that. I got it. It's it's, I have it. May I? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's the real deal. Yes. Awesome. Real deal. I am the Hollywood Bubbler reporting for the Hollywood Times. Yeah, hi. Hi, hi Hollywood Bubbler. Can you, uh, can you drop your Instagram so yeah. we can all find uh, you? Yeah, Abone Martinez. Abone Martinez. Abone Martinez, who's been in the soap opera biz for quite some time. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations on your nomination. Thank you, thank Very you. excited for yeah. you. It's amazing. Yeah, how, how is it working with the Bay? It's great. Um, it's a labor of love. It's, it's family-oriented, you know. It's... There's a lot of sense of family in the show. Never been around a harder worker, harder working group of people. We wrapped at three thirty in the morning. Wow! And the, the nights before that, none of them were in before midnight. So we're we're, we're just like out. kicking ass and taking names. I, I, I love that. I love it. Yeah, it's 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 a it's. It's a gorilla experience. Okay, can Go you ahead. can you tell us a little bit about season nine? Well, I'll just say it's profoundly um, dramatic. It, it reaches an amazing. I mean, it's so intense. You sort of want to like lay down after a minute. Okay. Um, yeah, wow. it's really intense. It, it, it's the, the drama is off the charts, and we get to um, meet some amazing guys who are committed to doing the wrong things <laughs> and people like my character have to put them straight so it's, it's a that. joy to do that yeah okay so in terms of joy what do you do to bring yourself joy when you're not working um uh well you know the true the great joy i have a great deal of joy being in my family and i have a great deal of joy writing i'm writing. trying to like um, graduate to having something to say that comes out of my life now instead of just telling the stories that other people are imagining. That's my, that. my goal, yeah. Very nice. Well, we can't wait to read what you write. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for stopping by. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'll nice see talking you inside. To you. you too. Okay. Hi. Do you guys want to do a live interview? The Hollywood Live? live? Yeah. Woo, woo, woo. You're live. You good? Bro. All right, cool. Here's a mic for you two to share. Okay. You look gorgeous. Come on by, my friend. All right, just so we're live right now. We're live right now. He's watching you do your yes. interview. Like, Hi, I'm Hello. Raquel Lafayette. And I am DuJour. Would you like to drop your Instagram so we can find you? Actress Raquel Lafayette. Uh, yep. The number one du jour. Number one du jour. One du jour. D E J U R. Number one D E J U R. Du jour. R O Q U E L Lafayette. L A F A Y E T T E. But it's actress Raquel Lafayette. Thank you. And we're so happy to be here celebrating another. Emmy nominations for The Bay. Crazy. My <laughs> Absolutely. Mom. We love The Bay. It, I mean, Gregory has done a fantastic job. Yes. I want to say congratulations to you, Gregory. You've done it again. You are absolutely 
number one and the next generation of soap right. operas. Soap operas. Keep I rocking came, it. I came up through the uh, soap opera world. I worked on Days of Our Lives, Generations, Young and Restless. Wow. Uh, and uh, the Bay is awesome. just as equal or not, if not better. Congratulations, Gregory. Uh, yeah, awesome. we love you. Can you tell us before you leave, what brings you joy? How do you create joy in your life? How do I bring joy in my life? Just stay positive. Um, keep your head up. Do not let any negativity um, come into your life. You know, just throw that away. Just stay positive, stay focused, and and keep the faith. Yeah, I, I, and I'd say um, I meditate and give, you know, God thanks and glory. Keep a lot of negativity out of your life, like as Raquel said. And you look forward and focus only to the future of positive things and don't look back. I got it. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for stopping by. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, have a wonderful evening. You too. Okay, I'm the Hollywood Bubbler interviewing for the Hollywood Times. And who do I have the pleasure of speaking with? Um, I'm Kiki Wong. Hello. Kiki Wong. And what, uh, what fashion do you do? Designer. I'm the celebrity fashion designer. And I dress movie stars for Oscar Golden Globe. Oh. And Cannes. Wow. And all these big movie premiums in Hollywood and Europe and China. Oh my gosh, I love that. Can you, you. spell your Instagram handle for us? K I K I W A N G Fashion. Amazing. Wow. Fashion. So, how has it been working? Oh, uh, actually, I want to so, say ahead. something yes. related to our film. I was uh, <laughs> called. The Red Queen of Fashion by Golden Globe official website. Oh wow! Yeah, congratulations. Thank you. Thank Very you. nice. So, who do you dress in the show? Did you say? Uh, yeah, uh, Celeste. Celeste. Yeah, Celeste. Yeah, for the uh, red carpet and for the Emmys. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, I think they, they filmed the scene the other day, uh, the bay, and they, they kind of used my dress too. Very cool. Thank Very you. cool. I'm also, I'm going to pass you my card. I'm also okay. a model. Oh. If you wanted to dress me sometime. Possible. I, I mean, you. I like your hair. Yeah, thank you. I like, I like this color. Thank you. It's my natural hair. Yeah, yeah. I mean, natural. It's natural. I'm a silver hair model. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. possible because we actually, we also, um, you know, I have the uh, models from five years old to eight years, 80 years old. Okay, well, so that is a very, very wide range. Very nice. I love diversity. I'm yeah, yeah. Here. And, uh, you know, I have kids where I have adults, I have, you know, yeah. uh, for our elders. So it's like, I mean, yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's perfect. I, I like your uh, personality and I like your the feel, the, the you know, like a fashion feel. So Thank it's you. Good. Thank you. Yeah. Is there anything else you'd like to tell? Uh, also, another thing is like we actually put models on the uh, Vogue, Bazaar, and oh. all the big magazines. Whoever model for us, we very likely they're going to get the publish on the pop magazine. Very nice. All right. Well, we should be in touch, my friend. Yeah. Thank you for stopping by. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you. All right. I'll see you inside. See you. Hi, friend. How are you? Okay, really good. Would you like to do an interview with Hollywood Times? Okay, awesome. Let's move you in here and I'm going to mic you. You look gorgeous. Thank you. I love your outfit. Thank That's you. Great. Your designer told me that she made, made your outfit. Yeah. Yes. Very nice. All right. So I'm the Hollywood Bubbler reporting for the Hollywood Times. And who do I have the pleasure of being with here? My name is Celeste Viana, and I play Tamara Garrett on The Bay. Of course you do. Congratulations Thank on your you. nomination. Thank you. Yeah, I'm also a producer, so it's very exciting. Awesome. So how do you relate to your character on the show? Oh, personally, boy, I mean, it's. I find that she's a very relatable character because she gets herself into some very pickly messes. And uh, <laughs> messes. Thinking, yeah, she has to get herself out every time, and she manages to, and she learns. She learns along the way. I mean, she gets brought to the road, and I find that it's very similar to. To, to life, you know, you're gonna have bumps in the road. She's she has a good intention, uh, but doesn't always execute it the right way. So. Right, right. I <laughs> saw so here at the Bay is like a one big happy family. 
Yeah, you know, we've been together working on the show so long. My actual brother in real life is Christos. He's the star of the show. Oh, wow. Yeah, and Gregory's my like, adopted brother. We've adopted each other a long time ago. So we've been working together for, I don't even want to say how long, but it's been quite a while. So it's just, you know, we spend all the holidays together. I love really, that. We really get to feel like a family. We are a I love that. Can you tell us what you do that sparks joy in your life when you're not working? Um, Oh. You know, I, I, I'm just kind of always trying to find some work to do. I, uh, I write, I screenplay write, I do real estate. Um, that's kind of my other hat that I wear about half the time. So. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm working with home. Okay. Sounds like it sounds like your jobs actually bring you joy. Is that yeah. what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, pretty much. And then of course I have a, I have a son at home. So. Oh, congratulations. How old is he? He's about to be a year old in Only one week. year. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Well, yeah. thank you so much for stopping by and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So. Hi, I'm the Hollywood Bubbler with the Hollywood Times. It's great to meet and you. who do I have the pleasure of chatting with? This uh, this is actor Anthony Preston from season six of The Bay. How are you? Oh, we're fabulous. Thanks for stopping by. My pleasure. So, um, here's a question for you. How does your your role? How do you relate to your role? Your How do I relate role? to my role? Yes, to your character. Well, let's see. He's conniving. He's underhanded. He's uh, all of them. Yeah, so probably on those two levels. <laughs> nice. Okay, then how do you not relate to your character? How do I not? Well, yeah. He's conniving, he's underhanded. Uh, <laughs> you're fun. Okay, all we want to know is what brings you joy. What brings me joy? Yeah, so we're going to do the same thing. So whatever you say, we're all going to do. We're all going to do? We're going to try it out. Positive confessions. I feel joyful. It always helps. Yes. I I'm giving you an action. I'm giving something to try it. So yeah. Stay with me. I, I feel, feel joyful. Joyful. See? Yes. How you feel? I move in gratitude 100% of the time. <laughs> there you go. Okay. So that's what's keeping you so young, huh? Absolutely. Okay. I'm glad I love you know. it. See? Yeah. Well, you know, you know we, we got to bottle that stuff up, don't we? <laughs> Absolutely. Is there anything else you'd like to share with us? Oh, just that I'm grateful to be here. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. More to come. More gratitude. All right. Till next time. Stay bubbly. Thank you so much. Thanks, Appreciate it. And you can you can find that here. Awesome. Thanks, Susan. You're welcome. Can I get a photo with you? Oh, you bet. Oh, with your camera? Sure. Let me turn it on. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have? A, do you mind taking a photo of us uh, with his phone? Do you mind? Thank, Thank you. you so very oh, this is exciting. Is okay, it? we look fabulous. It's nice. it's exciting for me. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome, friend. Yeah, you too. Yeah, see you later. I love it. I started with purple. Yes. It started. It started with the watch, and then somehow I got purple socks. <laughs> Yeah. I got purple embellishments on my oh, socks. Like oh, nice! Very nice. Would you like to do? It brings fashion sense to the show. Okay, very cool. Always like walking on wardrobe, like, hey, I'll be yeah. right back. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm great. Can I mic you? Yeah, yeah. Okay, awesome. Let's see how we frame. Let's scoot you back just a little bit that way. There we go. We'll have to look fly together. See, like that. Like All right. That. Hi there. I'm the Hollywood Bubbler. I'm reporting for the Hollywood Times. Nice. And um, congratulations. Like, this is very sparkly. I did yes. not look down. Thank you. But in the light, it is very. Yes. My first tuxedo. Yeah. It looks very good. I'm excited about it. We are two good looking people. Who do I have the pleasure of uh, speaking with here? I'm Najee Ditej. I for play sure. RJ Garrett Foster. Let's get closer. Uh, I play RJ Garrett Foster on the Bay. And uh, yeah, we're, we're here at the. Uh, rap free Emmy party, you know, living life. Loving yeah, it. I and, heard you uh, didn't rap till like this morning. Yeah, well, I still have some more pickup shots to shoot um, at the end of the month, so I don't technically feel rap. Uh, okay, but they want any excuse to throw a party, so all right. We're here. So, how do you, how can you personally relate to the character that you play on the show? Um, well. He has an innocent side to him, and um, I feel like in my life I'm a little innocent in some areas, uh, and I feel like he, and then he's also, I feel like he's the life of the party too, 
He has this comedic element to him, and I noticed that the Bay doesn't have a comedic person. Oh. So I randomly fell apart. Like, at first, I was a serious character, and then this last season, they made me more comedic. Okay. And I've been hitting my cues, and I'm, like, noticing. Funny guy. This show doesn't have a lot of comedic characters. Okay. So, you know, I'm happy that I'm getting the material and producing some good results. So. I love that. Yeah. So how has it been being a part of the Bay family? Oh, great. I feel like I meet a new family member every day because our cast is like 50, 30 people and it, it's so many people I can't even like remember right. when and where. But uh, it's exciting because it's always new, it's always fresh, it's always hot and sizzling. So I, I like it. I like being on the show. It's pretty good. I love that. So can you tell us how do you create joy in your life when you're not working? Um, uh, well, I have a couple things that create joy in my life, but I'll just kind of condense it to video games, um, love, you know, yeah. and um, hobbies, like small hobbies uh, that I take up, random hobbies. Right now I'm taking up juggling. Oh, cool. I'm, I started, I'm on the two, and I got the motion. I'm trying to work on the three. So, okay. um, that's, those are my goals. That's awesome. Yeah. Cool, very cool. Well, thanks for stopping by, and until next time, stay bubbly. Yep. <laughs> this is where you can find the interview. Oh, yeah. Sorry, my friend. No, I, just didn't want, I just didn't want you to walk across the frame. Okay. There we go. That one. Thank you. You're welcome. And I'll take my mic. I have a card if you're tagging people. But yeah, you want to give me a card? Oh, hi, friend. I'm gonna mic you. Oh. Hello again. Hi. Hi. I see. You saw these guys on Saturday, I think it was. Yeah. yeah. Guru Magazine yeah, on the Guru cover. Magazine. Very Thank cool. You. It's Guru exciting. Magazine. Yeah, they've yeah. got the cover of Guru's magazine. It's been on the cover of so many different platforms now. I'm, I'm so happy for Jared yeah. for being able to really showcase what it is. Right. I love it. So let's talk about the bay. What did I just overhear you say? <laughs> I'm the lead costume designer on the bay. We never talked about it the other day, but I just, had just come there on from set. Oh my gosh, the lead costume designer on day. And he did some amazing stuff this season, and his, some of his gowns are in a couple scenes. Wow. There's, there's, it's a very elevated, different profile for what the, what the costumes and the characters development. Gregory worked very hard in being able to really curate a whole bunch of new things that really showcase each individual actor in its moving forward. It's I really, really that. cool. I, I know, that. right? Yeah, how, so how has it been being part of the Bay family? I've known them for many years, so we've been friends forever, and it seemed like this was the right time that timing worked out where we could work together and be able to create all the looks for them. And we've, had, and we've had several of, he's done gowns for several of the soap stars that are on the Bay. Oh, so wow. it's kind of a natural That's thing that he's now... A full circle moment. Yeah, yeah. I I'm so that. happy. It's so exciting. It's been amazing. Awesome. Living on set until 3 and 4 o'clock in the morning. Yes. You guys are crazy. We just yeah, wrapped this done. morning at 5 a.m. Yeah. 5 a.m. wrap time. Yes. Crazy. Don't, don't mind the bags under there. Yeah, we don't see them. I have the pencil. We don't see them. Yeah. Well, thanks for stopping by. Thank, thank you very you. much. Nice to see you guys. Yeah. yeah. Great. You look enchanted. Well, thank you. So do you. Thank you. Let's step back <laughs> and try to get more of this outfit. Yes. And the purse. And the purse. Oh, my. Very I'll tell you. Nice. Well, I am the Hollywood Bubbler, reporting for the Hollywood Times. I'm so happy and, to see you. And it looks like you won something fabulous. I sure what did. I just got inducted into the Silver Circle Society, the Gold and Silver what? Circle Society, for my 40-year contrib contribution to daytime television. Oh, my gosh. And that's gosh. been those, those times I spent on Bold and Beautiful and Days of Our Lives, the time I did my talk show, the Rolanda Show, the time I was Professor Wiseman on Curious George. Oh. I mean, you know, I've done a lot of daytime in 40 wow. years, and Very it was really cool. nice to be recognized. I love that for you. Can you drop your Instagram for us and your name, your full name? Absolutely. Instagram? My name is Rolanda Watts. That's R-O-L-O. -O. 
R-O-N-D-A-W-A-T-T-S, at Rolanda Watts in all social media. I love that last name, too. Yeah. It makes me like your full high vibe. Oh, lots of energy. energy. Electricity, baby. Awesome. <laughs> so tell me about uh, this season on the bay. Well, you know what? I am supporting the Bay. I'm You're not on the, the bay, bay, but I was invited here to uh, to play it with the Bay. I love I, that. Let me tell you what I'm really impressed with the Bay. With. When you get this many nominations, it means you're doing something right. And we sit back and we enjoy television, but we never know all the teamwork that goes that goes with it. The directors, the writers, the actors, the I mean, the plot people, all the folks behind the scenes. Right. And so this is a testimony to hard work pays off. Yeah. It really does. And the people are watching you. People are watching. And loving you. And loving you. Yes. So what brings you joy? What sparks joy in your heart? Well, television is my passion. I will say that. I My, my sitcom, Mind Your Business on Bounce TV, okay. just premiered. So go to Bounce TV and check out Mind Your Mind Business. Your business. Mind, Mind Your Business. Okay. And uh, we're having a great time with that. And I, you know, teach a voice acting master class. I'm the narrator, oh. and, or narrator, the announcer, okay. and promo voice for the Sherry Shepherd Show. I love and that. And I teach a voice acting master class. I love that. I'm actually going to look you up. Well, please, you call me. Absolutely. Go to Rolanda.com. R-O-L-O-N-D-A. Thank you, Rolanda. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. This is where you can find your interview. Oh, beautiful. I'm going to unmic you. Okay. Just don't take mom and dad. Yes, I will not. I'll see you inside. Thank you. Say bye-bye. I'm going to be off camera. Oh, okay. There we go. So you guys can both take up that. All right. Are we answering awesome. questions? Yes. Or are we yes. just saying hi? Or yes. What? So this is the Hollywood Bubbler here reporting for the Hollywood Times. And who do I have the pleasure of speaking uh, with this tonight? This is Derek Edwards and the Empress. Kelly Michelle yeah. Edwards, awesome. CEO, socialite, uh, <laughs> notorious uh, TV personality. I love and, that. Would you like to drop your Instagrams? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You can find us and all, all of our fashion uh, related dealings, uh, which we're very excited about and bring you here for the summer and, and fall. You can find us at minimalbeverlyhills.com. Very cool. So what other projects are you working on that you'd like to talk about? Oh, well, uh, not too many that we can talk about too much yet because it's not dry, but we have some uh, upcoming things in both in reality uh, as well as in an animated feature. Oh, yes. animated feature. That's yes. exciting. A children's collection yes. in animation. Yes, absolutely. Um, we're working with Pixar and Disney. Wow. Off the ground. Oh, yeah. my yeah. gosh. I'm so uh, excited for Exciting news. Yeah. Very yeah, yeah. exciting. So, more to come. Check <laughs> us out. My, my main question to most of the people is how do you create joy in your life? Mm. You know what? Um, I'm going to take it to church. I pray. And prayer keeps me lifted and brings so much joy, peace, happiness, and abundance. And abundance in life and abundance in your heart. So I love that. Keep God first and everything will come to form. I love that. Amen. Song. And I just happen to <laughs> look at my beautiful wife and that gives me joy. All the joy that I need. Aw, so sweet. Well, thanks right. so much for stopping thanks so by. Much. Check out the Hollywood Bubbler. Yeah. Until next time, stay bubbly. <laughs> So, um, tell us, how does your character on the bay reflect you, personally? Oh, wow, that's a great question. So, when I met Gregorio uh, a year back or so, he wrote the character based on my personal character, oh. um, and which was kind of uh, inspiring and motivating for me, and uh, I'm honored by it. And it was easy to do it on set because the team's incredible. Gregory is just amazing to work with, with and he knows exactly what he wants um, and he's fun to work with. So the character itself is multi-layered. Um, he's a villain, an anti-hero. He's the best friend with Adam, which is, uh, you know, Adam is the main villain of the show. And uh, he's able to bring new sides out of Adam. So it's a, it's a very fun role to play. And uh, also Crystal was so much fun to work with. Be on the lookout for the scene where he's shaking me, uh -oh. <laughs> and I was trying to speak as he was shaking me, say my lines, and we had to improvise a lot of things there, and it was just a blast altogether. Oh, we can't wait to see that. Thank you. So, can you tell your fans what do you do to bring yourself joy? What sparks joy in your spirit? This precisely brings me joy, and my fans already know about this because I say it on every interview. Uh, film and creating movies and creating uh, magic on set is what inspires me. 
um, I'm part of both the tech world and the film world, and um, I think the film world is what, what you know what, what keeps me keeps me going. And working with people like Gregory Christos and everyone and Mike Manning uh, is just such a rewarding uh, such a rewarding uh, experience altogether. Awesome. So all the above keeps me going. I love that. Well, thanks so much for stopping by. Of course. And Thank uh, you. until next time, stay bubbly. You're Susan. I'm Susan. Well, I'm actually oh, the Hollywood. I go by the Hollywood Bubbler, and I'm reporting for the Hollywood Times. And I'm here with. What, and what was your name? Marie Cheatham. Marie Cheatham. And yeah. I was the original Marie of Days of Our Lives. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. And Marie. was invited back for the 15,000th episode and also for Bill Hayes' funeral. Oh. You know, soaps are the only venue that you can go to two funerals for the same person. Right. You go to one person's funeral and then you go to the funeral on the show for the character and you cry both of them because you love them. Of course you do. Oh my gosh. So you're here supporting the Bay? I'm here supporting the Bay and I think Gregory Martin is a genius because streaming is the future of television. And he's a very smart cookie to get his show streaming. I love that. I love that. I had worked with Wendy Rich on General Hospital before. Okay. I played Lucy Coe's crazy aunt Charlene. Oh fun. <laughs> I want to be a crazy aunt. Tell, tell me, what was your favorite role oh, of my career? My favorite role is the one I'm currently playing. <laughs> but my one of my favorites was the wicked Stephanie on Search for Tomorrow. She did all of the wrong things, but for the right reasons. Oh, okay. Can you so you can't tell us which role you're playing right now? Beg your pardon. You, can you tell us which role you're playing right now? Well, I've auditioned for something, and if it goes, I'll be blasting it from the roof. Oh, nice, <laughs> nice. Did we get your Instagram? Do you have an Instagram? Yes, I do. Can you tell us what it is? It's um, oh, Marie Ch uh, Cheatham Ceramic Arts. When I'm not working in television, I'm a potter. Oh, that's what I was going to ask you. What brings you joy? Making oh, pottery? Oh, it does. Oh, yes. When you feel the wall of a pot coming up on the wheel, or you do something and it comes out of the kiln and it actually worked. Yeah. Oh, boy. I love that. Oh, thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate you. I'll see you inside. I mean, I'm Mike. Oh, yeah. Don't let me walk off. Have a good one. Thank you so much, Marie. I remember a TV show called Who's the Boss? I do. With Tony Danza, Judith Light, Alyssa Milano, and yeah. Danny Pintaro. Danny Pintaro. That's me. Very cool. Yeah, I actually grew up. You should Yeah, when I was babysitting the kids watching yes, Who's the Boss. Yes, exactly. Yes. yes. Okay, very but, uh, nice. Can you drop out your Instagram, Danny? Yeah, of course. It's at Danny Pintaro. All of it, everywhere Pintaro. you can find me. Anywhere, at Danny Pintaro, yes. Can you spell the last name? P-I-N-T-A-U-R-O. Thank you very much. All right, well, I see you're walking with your magic. Can you tell us a little bit about that? How did you know? Because yes. Because I'm a magical being Yes, it's myself. literally, that's exactly what it is. I thought I would do like a take on the rosary, but with all the elements. You made it. I made it, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, so, you know, all four of the elements. I'm an earth sign, so I went with that as sort of the main pendant. What's your sign? Capricorn. Oh, me too. Oh, yeah. Capricorn in the house. Yeah. Oh, December 30th. Uh, January 6th. Okay, so yeah, yeah you got yeah. a crappy birthday too. Oh, it's awful. Yeah, but it's good to be a Capricorn. Right? It is. I love being a Capricorn. I feel very strong and uh, not too stubborn, but like enough that I can get shit done. Yeah, yeah. always checking oh, off. Always You're lying. It's fine. Always checking off the to do list. This always is cap checking off. 100%. So, um, you got any projects you're working on right now that you'd like to talk? Uh, hopefully soon. I uh, I have took like a 20 year break from the business. Okay. So I'm on my way back. We'll see what happens. You know, the funny part though is my very first like major job as an actor was on As the World Turns. Oh wow! So I was two to five and a half. Okay. I was the original character. Like I was the first person to play a major character for the next 20 years on the show. I love that. Yeah. And you took a little break and Long now one. you're back with your magic and realigned magic. and centered and grounded. Yes. 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 So what do you, what brings you joy? That's all we care uh, about. You know, living life to the fullest every day because you only live once. Yolo. You know, we, we only have one opportunity to live this very moment. 
And right. it, after that, it's gone. So I try to just find that joy. It's really hard because my anxiety keeps me thinking in the future. Right. A lot of people are thinking in the past, right? Yeah. So we'll see. I think it works. I love that. Well, I'm the Hollywood bubbler. I'm all about you. raising the vibe of humanity one bubble at a time. Let's do it. And um, I need to give you a bubbler card. I love it. If you ever want a bubble. I love to bubble. I love to bubble. Yeah. Thank you so much for stopping by. You're welcome. It's nice yeah, to meet you. Yeah, you too. I'm going to go ahead. I, I do interviews for uh, the Hollywood Times. Nice. Yes. My name is Christian Filippel. I'm one of the producers, one of the nominees. Very nice. Congratulations. Okay. I think we're going to have, I'm going to have you say that. I'm going to have you introduce cool. yourself again louder and then spell your Instagram. Okay. My name is Christian Filippel and my Instagram is my name. I'm, uh, I'm one of the producers on the Bay and one of the nominees this year. Congratulations. Where are you from? I'm originally from Italy, but I'm also American and I live yes, in Los Angeles. I thought I heard the accent. Yes. I'm a speech pathologist, the so I'm, I'm in the accent. Yeah. Yes. So how has it been producing the Bay? Uh, well, it's been amazing. Uh, um, on uh, For season eight, I uh, shot uh, three episodes in Italy that I also produced with my company, San Diego Pictures. And uh, it's been a pleasure to work with Gregory. I've known him uh, since before the Bay, so we we're friends, first of all. Right. We had the opportunity to uh, work together because he wrote this uh, segment, this uh, stories uh, uh, based in Italy, and uh, he thought about me, uh, you know, knowing that I'm of from course. there. Of yeah. course. Yeah, that and makes sense. And I'm also sense. a cinematographer, so it made a lot of sense to call me and help him to shoot these episodes. Very nice, very nice. So do you feel like the Bay is like a big family? That's exactly what it is, yeah. I was uh, just uh, saying earlier, it is uh, a family, we're all friends. Um, I have a great relationship with uh, everybody. It's uh, all very talented filmmakers, uh, but especially with uh, Gregory, Christos, Celeste. Uh, obviously, you know, again, like I said, I've known him for, for many years, so it's, it, is, it does feel like a family. But, but that's also what Gregory does. Like, he's really good at making everybody feel um, being part of a big family. And that's what the Bay is, you know, that's, that's the success of the Bay, being an independent show and being able of having reached such uh, success and compete against the studios. Uh, it was only possible because it's run that way. Right. I love that. Congratulations on your nomination. Thank you. Can you tell us what you do to create joy in your life when you're not working? I have a lot of hobbies. I, I don't take this job very seriously, actually. You know, I, I sail, I uh, hike, I dive. Uh, I am a, a very um, uh, avid traveler. I'm always around the world. Uh, luckily, I have places uh, outside of LA uh, and abroad. So okay. and every time I have the opportunity, I travel. I'm just back from Cannes Film Festival. Oh, nice. I was in Italy, and uh, now I'm here celebrating the Bay. Wow. Well, thanks for uh, spending a little bit of time with us tonight. Thank you. Thank you for awesome. having me. I'll see you inside. Nice Thank to you meet so you. Much. Thank you. It's the Hollywood Bubbler here reporting for the Hollywood Times, and I'm with this handsome guy named... Brady Gentry. Oh, so it's uh, one of the actors for the Bay, huh? Yes, correct. I play uh, Marty Cambridge. Congratulations on your Emmy nomination. Thank you, thank you. I'm, I'm really happy and blessed to be a part of this amazing team. Can you tell us how do you relate in real life to your character that you play? Well... When I first moved to LA, I uh, had a lot of time to like work in the hospitality industry as a server and everything. And Marty Cambridge, he works at the uh, the tavern, and so a lot of it is I'm working, serving people, making sure everyone's good, but also just having a good group of friends, like I do in the show and in real life. It's just to feed off of each other and like this back and forth banter. I yeah, I'm really blessed to have my my TV family and my family outside. Yeah, I heard like I heard the day is just one big happy family. Oh, it is, and I haven't gotten to meet everybody yet, just since I'm like very new to the show. Okay. But everyone that I have come across, they have welcomed me with open arms, and I'm I'm very grateful. I love that. So, can you tell your fans uh, what do you do to spark joy in your life? Oh my goodness. Well. I love to hike. I I really enjoy spending time with my friends and 
getting to help people that want to get into the industry or are already in the industry and they just have questions or concerns. And I, I really like to help people and like at the end of the day, all I want to do is just inspire one person. And if I can just do that, then I lived a fulfilled life. I love that. That's kind of like me. Uh, my whole point is to raise the vibe of humanity wherever I'm at. And if I can do that every day, then I'm good. Very nice. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. So thanks so much for uh, stopping in. And until next time, stay bubbly. Yeah. Well, thank you for having me. Stay <laughs> bubbly. Welcome. Stay bubbly. Woo! Oh. Thanks. Hi. Hi. It's the Hollywood Bubbly here reporting for the Hollywood Times. And I'm with... Eve Austin. Eve Austin. Tell us more about you, Eve. Oh, well, um, uh, it's all about humanity as we started talking. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, it's about raising people's consciousness, let them understand who they are, what they are, help them grow. Um, the project, I, I'm a producer and an actor, and actually an actor and producer. The producer came later. Okay. And the, um, the message I want to give to people is to... Um, uplift them and my favorite types of films that I like to do I don't always get what I like to do but as an actor right but um, basically it's triumph over adversity I'd like to see people grow to the best of their abilities to become the best that they can and I there's that. so many people that need help and I'm not a shrink but I do my shrinking I guess right right whoops through, through exactly what we're talking about it's it's really all about learning yourself you're never too old to learn yes. who you are and to be who they are and not have to put masks on and pretend because we're all I want to say, without getting religious about it, God's children. Okay. And we were all made in a, in a way that uh, we're all here on earth to do the best that we can and to grow. So right. That's what I hope to do with people, with my work. And with I love my, that. Uh, yeah, I, I always say, if you're not learning, you're stagnating. And, um, yeah, you're treading water. Yeah, and I like to call, uh, I like to call it leveling up. So when you level That's up. That's a great word. Yeah, when you're leveling up in consciousness and clarity and learning new things and lessons, you know, they might feel icky, but you got to go through them. You, you I know, know, the lessons is exactly when you when you are feeling down and whatever. The only control we have of ourselves as human beings is how we react to situations. But yep. situations are going to keep on coming to us. True. And, you know, if, if we can take it as a lesson, as you said, and, and um, grow from that. Yeah. That is what we're looking to do. If we had no adversity at all, we wouldn't be able to grow. Exactly. So that's why it's You've got to know us. what you don't yeah. like to know what, to, what you do like. Yes, exactly. Yes. Any other words of wisdom you'd like to impart on all of us? No, but I wish the world it will land in a better place than where we've been. I wish that people would all love each other. If you're not on the lo uh, side of love, you're on the side of fear. True. There's only two sides. Mm -hmm. So when you know that you're getting icky, as you said, mm -hmm. then you know that you're not on the side of your heart. Right. And that's where you have to really be in touch with. It's not here. It's not there. Right. <laughs> it's heart here. Exactly. Yes. exactly. Yes. Get out of your head. Get into your heart. That's right. Yes. That's a good one, right? Yes. Thank you so much, Eve. Such I'm a so pleasure to meet you. Yes. Yeah, so glad you to too. meet you. And I can't wait to follow you. Yes. Awesome. All right. Well, until next time, stay bubbly. I will stay bubbly. <laughs> with your bubbles. Blow some on me. <laughs> here, let me get you. I did pack my bubbles. Oh. Woo! Yes, automatic vibrator right there. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi there, it's the Hollywood Bubbler here reporting for the Hollywood Times. And who do I have the pleasure of speaking to? Hey guys, David Bianchi here, uh, celebrating the Bay with my boys, Crystal and Gregory. Happy to be here uh, honoring those fellas. And, uh, you know, we're all Academy members. And excited to be here. I love that. So do you have any projects you're working on that you'd like to draw? Yeah, absolutely. So if you look at my hat, see that RZR? RZR. That's Razor. So I'm the creator, co-writer, executive producer, one of the logistical producers, and I play the lead. Oh. And we just had our four-year consideration Emmy screening at the Television Academy at the Television <laughs> Academy headquarters. There are 570 people, and the cast is myself, Mina Suvari, Danny Trejo, Emilio Rivera, Richard Cabral, uh, Christopher Marquette. It's a, it's a really gritty, dark sci-fi thriller. Wow. Takes you into the world of neural implants, hacker culture, and cryptocurrency. Oh, 
it's kind of like real though, right? Yeah, so it's like it's like it's like Children of Men, Mr. Robot meets Blade Runner. Okay, that yeah. sounds exciting. Yeah. Very cool. So can you tell us what do you do to raise your vibe when you're not working? What brings you joy? Uh, there's two things that I there's 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 one thing that I've done perfectly in seven years. It's every single day when I wake up. Before I turn on my phone, before I go to the bathroom, I get on my knees and I talk to God. Mm-hmm. And I center myself, so I need to center myself spiritually. So something that, that's what I do personally. Um, another thing that I do for just emotional practice is I, I oftentimes, multiple times a week, I write gratitude lists. Oh, yes. I journal on a, about every other day. Um, and then I also write my envisioned quality of life in my journal, but I write it in present tense. Right. Right. The I am, I have... That's right. Yes. Because the, the the universe is always looking for communication. We're electric. We're yes. from stardust. Yes, we are. And so when we communicate to the language. yeah, when we communicate to the universe what our truth is, the universe is going to make it so. Yes. And if you are in victim mode, you're going to get more things to be a victim about. But if you are in the gratitude mode, you well, have that, more things to be grateful about. That's absolutely correct. You know, I, I make it very simply for anybody that doesn't get it. When you order a package on Amazon, there's not a piece of you that believes it's not coming. So right. why wouldn't you treat your life that way? Yeah. You know, as long as you have an awareness that greatness is what your reality is, not what your destiny is, what your reality is, you're communicating that energetic vibe yes. to the ecosystem and all the laws of attraction and polarity guarantees us yes. that those things will come to you. And my whole body is vibrating right now. Yes, yes. It is. And you know when you get those chills, you got to pay attention to what's <laughs> happening around you because you're right on track exactly where you're supposed to be. Yeah. Wow. wow. I'm excited that, that we met. That's very exciting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So check out, uh, we're on the gram, so I'm David Bianchi, easy to find, B-I-A-N-C-H-I. Uh, check out RZR series, and um, yeah, you can watch Razor right now on Gala Film for free. Wow. Um, all eight, The eighth episode just dropped last week, wow. and it's free to watch. So awesome. go to rzr.watch. We will. Thank yeah. you so much, and until next time, stay bubbly. Until next time.